Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. I took like a 10 minute break. <laughs> welcome back to Emperor's Light. We're gathered here today for your spiritual messages. Let's see what's the connection between you and your person. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow out here in these YouTube streets. Let's get to it. My nose is running all of a sudden. Florida weather, man. It could be so unpredictable. So let's see. What is the synergi synergistic connection between you and your person at this time? We're going to be asking spirit, what's the purpose or what's the focus of this connection at this time? I feel like I got something sticking out of my nose and it's annoying me. <laughs> it's annoying. All right. So what's the message? Spirit may have messages for Scorpio today. What's the purpose of the connection between Scorpio and their person? Jumpers. Flippers, as they would call them. Six of Cups. Would you look at that? Memories. So this could be a past life connection. Or this person wants to make memories with you. Right? This is some sort of a spiritual uh, healing, an apology or something like that. <clears throat> but it's real good vibes, right? The Three of Cups and the Six of Cups gives me a lot of laughter vibes, like good times. Yeah. So, so for some of you guys, this is someone that you know, that you grew up with, or someone that has fond memories of you. But let's take a look. We need to get to the focus of this connection. What was the purpose of you guys getting to know each other here? What's the focus of this relationship? After all, there must be a reason, right, Scorpio? All right, there's no more jumpers. I do see Queen of Cups. Ground in the reading with the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so, she is empathetic here. Mm -hmm. So, empathy. I don't know if this is nurturing. Maybe we could be dealing with a healer here, a clairvoyant like myself, or maybe someone that is a singer or a dancer, some sort of an artistic capabilities, right? Definitely could be a comedian or a storyteller, right? Or some sort of a news anchor, right? <clears throat> could be a fisherman uh, as well, the Queen of Wands is. I don't know why I'm reading it like that, though. What's the, what's the focus or the purpose of this connection? What's the synergetic? What's the reason you and, to, you and this person are being brought together, Two of Cups? Yeah, there's a bond here. I mean, let's get the rest of the message to fool. Taking the leap of faith here. Now, let me get the rest of the messages. The Emperor, double Aries, the fool and the Emperor, and judgment. And remember at the bottom of the deck was the Queen of Cups. I don't necessarily thinking that think that you guys are teaching each other how to love here. I think it's it's almost like there is no rhyme or reason. Like there is, I mean, there's obviously a, obviously a purpose, right? And, and it may hit on different levels for some of you guys, depending on how you resonate. It's it's faith, right? Having uh, faith in the universe, the fool, and judgment, right? The universe forcing you to take action here. Uh, yeah, this is like the universe supplying you with happiness. This is the universe delivering you a cup, an ace of cups, and saying, hey. Here's love. This is what you've been wanting, right? Um, even if it's not uh, love here, this is it's showing you how to express yourself from the art space. I mean, that's love. So, I mean, there's no other way to put it. Um, but, yeah, very interesting. The queen, the, the, the grounded message is the queen of cups. So, I'm not sure if you or your person is some sort of a healer or a clairvoyant, right? Again, like a doctor or a nurse or something like that, a therapist, a psychiatrist, or some sort of an energy reader. The Six of Cups is past, right? Past life memories. Mm -hmm. Growth even, emotionally, spiritually as well. Two of Cups, relationship, a soulmate or a strong friendship connection. The Fool Aries, taking a leap of faith, trying something new or adventuring, right? Yeah, it's like the universe, the whole purpose of this connection is so you guys can experience love and abundance with each other here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are going to be traveling, right? <laughs> I th um, 
you guys probably need to hang out with more couples as well. You know, I'm guessing there's probably something that you need to learn from uh, other couples. We have the Emperor here, Divine Masculine Energy. So there's definitely a, um, there's structure here, wherever it's coming from, right? One of you guys has to be um, the mature one in this situation. I don't know if it's this Queen of Cups <laughs> or this Emperor here, but Judgment here. You could be meeting someone soon as well for some of you guys. Yeah. This is the first message I've gotten like that. So if you have not met your person, this person is going to come in and um, help you to open up your heart space or show you new love, right? Use your discernment though, right? Because they can be coming in at any time. They could be coming in after an F boy or F girl or before an F boy or F girl. So hopefully you have integrity, standards, right? You're um, you're not hurt or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure if any of you guys have come out of a bad relationship. Because why would the heart chakra be why would the heart chakra be closed off unless you're like focused on pentacles? But again, right? Take a look at the most attractive women. Why are they most Why are they the most successful or, or attractive? It's just like men, right? Because <laughs> and it sounds so mean. It's like it's like not that no one wants you. It's just that you have more time and more energy to put in the things that you should be putting in <laughs> rather than having frivolous relationships like popular people have, right? Um, but yeah, hopefully that didn't come off bad or sound, you know, condescending or anything like that. Obviously, there's someone for everyone, right? Everyone's beautiful in their own way, whether it's physically, spiritually, or they have some sort of a talent, right? That's why I say always be seen being your best self or just being authentic, right? If you look crazy, you look crazy to the right person, right? Cosplayers, like growing up as a black guy, we thought that there were no nerdy black chicks. Little did we know. <laughs> she likes anime. She likes games. Some women even like sports. Some women are into cosplay and dressing up, right? You'd be surprised. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely leadership or something like that. It's a spirit coming into this reading almost like a final call or trying to get your attention, Aries fool and judgment to say, hey, there's love here, All right? Build new memories, All right? But that is what I have for you. That's the whole focus or purpose of this relationship at this current moment in time. How you guys' energy are meshing, yeah. You guys are coming off as the Queen of Cups, the Emperor, take gender how it resonates, judgment is even here. I mean, that, that may even be like a preacher or a pastor marrying you guys, right? So for some of you guys, you guys have already been in a relationship. You just need to take that leap, right? Become the Emperor or the Empress, right? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Aries energy. Catch you guys on the next one, Scorpio. Yeah, it would be a Scorpio. 